multiplication of virus also called replication of virus we can't say we can't use the word reproduction of virus virus itself unable to reproduce it multiply inside the host cell one inside the host cell so the number of virus increase inside the host cell only but not itself so the correct word is the replication of virus replication of virus virus that multiply by two ways one lytic cycle and two lysogenic cycle virus multiply by two ways by lytic cycle and another one by lysogenic cycle virus we show lytic cycle called virulent phages virus we show lysogenic cycle temperate phages example to virulent phages t e n bacteriophages example to the temperate phages coliphas lambda coliphas lambda in the first one lytic cycle host cell dies lysed and completely damaged and the new virion that are released so they are that is called virulent phages but in the lysogenic cycle host cell not die immediately after so many generation one or two cells or host cells may damage so that is called temperate phase example coliphas lambda the virus name that shows the lysogenic cycle is the coliphas lambda and example to the virus which shows the lytic cycle t even bacteriophages the t2 t4 t6 bacteriophages that show lytic cycle now first come to the lytic cycle virus we show lytic cycle called virulent phages virulence virus we show lytic cycle virulent phages steps one attachment or adsorption Two. Penetration. Three. Biosynthesis. Four. Maturation. Five. Release. Or lysis. so lytic cycle completes in five steps first the bacteriophage attached on the surface of bacterium that is called attachment also called adsorption next step there is the penetration and formation of different parts of virus inside the bacterium that is biosynthesis maturation formation of complete virus inside the host there is maturation by breaking of the cell wall of the bacterium releasing of the viruses that is called release or lysis now first come to the attachment or adsorption bacterium its genetic material cell wall bacteriophage attach it on the surface of bacterium at specific site only with the help of tail fibers bacteriophage attach on the surface of bacterium at specific site with its tail fibers that is called attachment or adsorption now tail core 
drills the cell wall of the bacterium and a hole is formed the cell wall. Next, tail sheath contracts and injects the DNA into the host or the bacterium. So, entry of viral DNA into the bacterium penetration. That means here the bacterium, the bacteriophage works as epidermal syringe. Like a syringe, it pushes the medicine into the tissue like that. The tail sheet that pushes the DNA of the virion into the host bacterium. Entry of DNA of virus into the bacterium penetration. Now, after penetration, only protein coat present on the surface of bacterium that is called ghost. Ghost, it is protein capsid of bacteriophase present outside the bacterium. Now, once the bacteriophase DNA enters into the bacterium, Bacterial genetic material or nucleoid completely breaks and it disappears. It breaks and disappears. Now, bacterial DNA handles the function of the bacteria. Synthesize various parts. Inside this one, head region, tail region, tail plate, tail fibers, all are produced separately and DNA also. Different parts that are produced in separately inside the bacterium. Once the bacteriophage DNA enters into the bacterium that is called penetration, after penetration, the bacterial DNA rupture and disappears. All functions handled by the phase DNA and start or initiate the synthesis of various parts of virus, capsid, tail, or head capsid, tail, tail sheath, tail, tail plate, tail fibers, all are produced separately. Now that stage is called biosynthesis. In this stage, complete virions not appear, the complete virus not appear. So that is called Eclipse stays. Eclipse stays. The stays in that complete viruses are not appeared. But different parts of virus that synthesize, that is the biosynthesis. Now, next, all these parts are assembled. All these parts are assembled. Into the head capsid, DNA entered. To that one, tail attaches, next tail sheath attaches, tail plate attaches, tail fibers attaches. So, complete virus that is formed. The number of virus or the virion that form inside the host is specific. The number of virus or the virion that form inside the host is called burst size. That range is 50 to 200. 50 to 200. Minimum 50 and maximum 200 viruses that form inside the host. So the number is specific to virus to virus. So the number, the burst size is specific to virus. What is the burst size? The number of viruses that form inside the host cell called burst size that is specific to virus. Now, virus that induce the synthesis of an enzyme, lysozyme. Fourthly, it produces the lysozyme. Actually, that is a viral enzyme, but that produced by the host cell. That lysozyme that dissolve the cell wall, that dissolve the cell wall. Next, the viruses, they are released out and affect other bacteria. So, because of the rupture of the host cell and the death of the host cell, 
the last stage is called lysis and after the lysis of the host cell new virions or the new viruses they are released so in lytic cycle in lytic cycle finally host cell dies virus which show such type of lytic cycle called virulent phages example t2 t4 t6 bacteriophages or t even bacteriophages eclipse stage from penetration period from penetration to maturation called eclipse stage or the phase in that the complete virions are not appeared inside the host that is eclipse stage sequence of the steps adsorption attachment penetration entry of phage dna into the bacterium formation of the different parts inside the host biosynthesis protein coat present on on the surface of the bacterium host assembling of all parts of virus maturation rupturing of the cell wall of host and elaboration of the viruses release or lysis lysogenic cycle virus which show lysogenic cycle temperate phases example coli phase lambda example lambda phase attack e coli escherichia coli called coli phase lambda steps adsorption same the core of bacterial phase tail drills the wall hole is formed through the hole tail sheet contracts and it pushes it enters now phase dna it is a phase dna it is a bacterial dna phase dna attached to the bacterial dna in this after penetration the main genetic material of bacterium not ruptured not removed out not disappears phase dna attached to the bacterial dna that is called prophase prophase phase dna which was attached to the bacterial dna called prophase in this bacterial dna not ruptured and not removed not disappears now bacteria multiplies by binary fission each bacterium consists bacterial dna along with the phase dna that is the prophase so so many bacteria that are formed each one consists same along with the bacterial dna phase dna also multiplies so numerous bacteria form and each bacterium consists its own dna along with that viral dna it sometimes or when the bacteria are exposed to ultraviolet rays or any change in environment now this prophase or the viral dna that separates from that separates from bacterial dna enter into lytic cycle enter into lytic cycle when occasionally not always that means all the progeny or all the bacteria which are produced by this method not affected one or two bacteria affected what happens when the bacteria exposed to ultraviolet rays or any change in environment in such condition prophase or the viral dna separate from the bacterial dna and then enter into lytic cycle lytic cycle so such bacteria only finally they die lysed such bacteria only they lysed finally 
Now, the steps that are common to the both lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle, adsorption is common, penetration is common. Absorption, penetration, these two are common to both lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle. In the bacterium, we already discussed in the reproduction in the bacterium, and the last one, that is the transduction. Transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to other bacterium by virus. Through which cycle it is possible? By this one. So, during the separation of the prophase from the bacterium, it is the bacterial DNA. If it separate from the bacterial DNA, it is the viral DNA. And it is the bacterial DNA. Some part of bacterial DNA also comes out along with the viral DNA. It enter into the new virus. If it attack another bacterium, this bacterial DNA attach it to the genetic middle of other bacterium. That is called transduction. So, transduction observed through lysogenic cycle. Transduction, it is a transfer of genetic middle in between two bacteria through virus. Observed through lysogenic cycle of virus.